You're walking on the streets in the middle of the night. The war has taken a toll on your daily life with the frequent blackouts in New York City. The streets are empty and desolate. And suddenly, you feel the urge to get a drink and maybe eat something too. All the cafes are closed for the night, but you spot a lone diner with light pouring onto the street. You walk towards it only to stop mid-track, noticing that there are four people inside. That, and there's no door into this diner. Not one that's in your sight. This is what the perspective feels like in Nighthawks, a famous painting by Edward Hopper. Nighthawks is a painting created in 1942, after the Pearl Harbor bombing and during the war. It has many questions and openings for speculation, from the people inside this warm, lighted downtown diner to the dark, barren streets. It's one of the most recognizable and relatable paintings of this era, probably because we are just way too depressed nowadays. Hopper had sketched out the painting beforehand, drawing on what his wife, Jo, had described. Nighthawks has this melancholy feel to the entire painting, and such a quiet atmosphere, almost eerie. In this art piece, it's obvious how the diner is the only light source with the warm yellow glow that lights the dark street. Everything is muted except the bright diner, the interior scene to which we are not invited, saturated in more color than the exterior, where we are invited. Hopper paid high attention to the little objects. You can tell the amount of coffee this machine still has, and the little grains of salt and pepper in the shakers. And on the sign above the diner, it advertises cigars for only five cents. A deal back in the days. Nowadays, you see cigars for ten times the amount. Then, when we take a look at the background, there's a lone cash register in a dark room. Maybe a shop? Maybe not. There isn't a sign that indicates it's a shop. And if we look up, there are many windows, but one has blinds that are partially closed like someone was in a hurry before leaving. Those two smaller details allow us to imagine how daily life would be if not for the night, or the World War. Everything is tightly packed and lacking details in general. The night owls in the diner are what really stands out to most people. How did they end up here? How did they even enter this diner at all, or is that orange rectangular door the actual opening? There are three customers in total, a woman in a red dress, a man in a black suit, and the latter again, but looking away from us. Are these two a couple, or have they just met in this lone diner? And why is this man turned away, besides the fact that you don't sit on a bar stool facing away from the counter? Why is this man, the one that's sitting alone, even ignored by the employee? What could any of them be thinking on a night like this? Even though there are multiple people in this painting together, mentally, they are distances apart. And this emits a sense of loneliness between all of them. It gives off depression and the peace of solitude in your own mind, especially the time period it was drawn, which holds the story. A large city once cheerful, now filled with paranoia and anxiety. Hopper had a knack for painting loneliness a little too accurately in many of his artworks as well, and he had this way of describing American life during and after the wars, including the Great Depression. His paintings are often seen as depressing, isolating, and simply lonely, especially after the war. You could easily imagine how this painting could be if it were during the day. There'd be many people, and without that sorrowful feel to it anymore, maybe even cheerful if I was being optimistic. I think Nighthawks is a great way of describing those three words too, since there are four people in the diner, lost in their own thoughts, and not really on speaking terms. They seem distant toward each other, and to us, as we can't even reach them. If we think outside the box, and quite literally, outside the box, Nighthawks implies that we are the ones alone outside the warm diner with this set perspective and no way inside whatsoever. That's pretty neat in its own way. It makes us feel alone, in solitude, like a normal day-to-day -day life for most people. Some have assumed that Hopper had created this painting with inspiration from Café Terrace at Night by Vincent van Gogh. And at first glance, I could say they hold some similarities, like how it's set at night, the little café with food, and how the diner seems to be the one lighting up the streets. Van Gogh's painting gives off a warmth like this place is safe and welcoming. 
and Hopper's place is like, this place is depressing, and not very welcoming, because there is no door leading inside. There are differences between the two. While Nighthawks has few characters, Cafe Terrace at night includes a lot of people who may not be seen as clearly, but are still present nonetheless. And the message of Nighthawks is peace and solitude, and depicts loneliness in an artistic sense, while Terrace at night is just positive and loud with people and cheer. Nighthawks is a painting that is beautiful in its own way, and really tells a story of what went on during the war without words. It's easily relatable, and even I can relate to this art piece. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to check out others on my channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe.